I asked y'all how you would improve Football Fusion 2. We've gotten 100 answers, so today we're going to be reacting to the best and worst ones. Five Star Edit says updates daily. Daily updates would just be completely absurd. I don't think Football Fusion needs to be updated that much. Now, don't get me wrong, they pretty much never update the game. I think at least a monthly update weekly would be the maximum daily is uh completely absurd david smith says add colleges and actual good hitbox with customizing helmets color shades would be great in vip servers i've talked to the actual uniform designer of football fusion i know he wants to add it to the game xsdns might be hesitant it could be like a copyright thing i know there's three u.s military teams in the game so if they could add every college that would be great as far as a good hitbox i think fusion has the perfect hitbox it genuinely has the best hitbox in all of pro football i played multiple games maybe y'all are going to disagree with me but i cannot name a game with a better hitbox and ff now customizing helmets will be cool within limits like i kind of like the uniformity of the game but if we could have different stuff like a justin tuck face mask to something that's still realistic to some point in nfl history silly fix has given us a lot of points here so let's go one by one starting with at a park kind of like uf absolutely i've texted XSTNS that Football Fusion needs a park mode. It would just be a fun mini game mode. I think when you join up, it should still take you to the main game, sort of like Basketball Legends, but a nice option to go to the park. Now, I wouldn't be against a UF park. I think it could work, but the addition of Sprint in UF helps it. It makes the games go faster. I've talked about this a ton. There's this game called Hit Tap on Roblox. It is a 1v1 destroying mini game. I think a Fusion park centered around a destroying mini game where you 1v1 your friends and have different QBs will go absolutely insane. I don't know that X Tenzin will ever add it, but I sure hope he does. Add a ranked mode with exclusive trails and etc ranked mode would genuinely be good because like the average public is just so bad like i think a tier one server or tier two server different levels to it would just add more competitive gameplay for the average players it's unfortunate now there's really nothing in between like public warriors and leagues i think just like a public with like a little more calm could genuinely help out the game then they mentioned exclusive trails that would genuinely be great because when i tear up i get like a little badge on my uniform and a chat badge like i should get an item for tearing up because i'm selling my like super high overall, all of my global stats for the tier, and I don't even get like an item with it. Add more celebrations. This is absolutely needed. Ultimate football. I'm gonna just take a guess. There gotta be over a hundred celebrations in UF. Maybe 200, like genuinely. I believe in football fusion, even if you buy the game pass, you only get like 10 celebrations. So their competitor game has like over a hundred percent more celebrations for you to do. So more celebrations is something they absolutely should add. Here's an interesting point to add laterals. Now this might be my first controversial take that y'all are gonna disagree with. I don't want laterals in football fusion the average public warrior does not know how to throw a football properly they just don't they're just going to throw it backwards there's going to be so many safeties so many more trollings and all it does is take time like i know in uf i guess it's a cool feature oh you can pass the ball back to your friend but just makes plays take longer it's just annoying it really is just annoying i know y'all might like it as a feature i just personally find it tedious now i think laterals in vip servers that could be cool like if you want a league to allow laterals so it's more like actual football gameplay. That could be a fun experience. But as far as your average public gameplay, I think laterals would be terrible. Add punter rolls so you can block punts and kicks for a potential touchdown. I have a similar opinion to laterals because we've seen this play out in ultimate football where you can block punts and kicks. Now, as far as kicks, I don't think you can pick up a blocked field goal in UF, but you can definitely pick up a blocked punt. And it just seems annoying in OP because unfortunately the average public player, and we have to base this on the public experience. The average public player does not block for their punter. So you're going to be blocking every single punt and picking up the ball. It's so rare that a punt actually gets off an ultimate football it feels like that would just be an annoying feature that makes like every extra point take forever i would add x factors like double me and the way to activate it is when you must three people in a row this is a terrible idea for football fusion x factor would just be out of control like the reason fusion has been successful for so long when it's like oh it's such a simple game there's not a lot of updates why do so many people play it? it's that core gameplay it's that core clean gameplay clean tackles clean catching not a lot of goofy mechanics so if you add in an x factor that could genuinely just ruin the game clips vr says defensive practice i think what football fusion needs is a simple tutorial guide so hoops in their new update well i think the game is largely the same they added a really good tutorial so you have this guide explaining to you the different mechanics of the game here's how to dribble this many times here's how to shoot a basketball xyz and i think it is needed like fusion is such a simple game for us like we watch american football we play fusion we're used to it but during the egg hunt i saw so many people complaining about ultimate football and football fusion it's like i can't figure out how to get catch i don't understand tackle it seems like the average person has no clue how to play role football so i think a nice tutorial button and then you go through a guide explaining the game and the mechanics could genuinely help new players and increase the player base and by teaching defense that would basically be a defensive practice kz says prestige trails and crowd celebrations and we talked about prestige trails earlier that would be great like any kind of item for tearing up but also crowd celebrations i think it might mean team celebrations by this that would be absolutely sick 
sick. You know, as a Vikings fan, we had so many cool ones. Our team did the limbo celebration, duck, duck, goose, a bowling celebration. So there's a button you could press where all your teammates align to do a specific celebration. That would genuinely be fun. But the fact that we only have like 10 simple celebrations, the chance of team celebrations actually being added to the game might be 0%. Flora Lemon suggests some kind of replay archive. Look back at your replays during the game. That would be pretty neat. I think a replay archive will be good, but I want it stored in the practice server and not in the main game because I don't want people just binge watching their replays while sitting on the sideline ruining my team's ability to win. Now, I don't know how possible it is, but if they could have a high quality replay system like Madden, except it's every single play, and you can genuinely in 3D move around your replay and replay plays, you can make a full movie out of a football fusion game with sick angles and everything like that. Now, as far as coding is concerned, I have no clue how realistic or how possible it is, but that would be a dope feature. Mama suggests a lot, but we'll go over what's new. He said injuries, Super Bowls, and leagues for newbies slash pros. Now, I did a video simulating injuries in fusion. I just don't think it would be good for the game. If you had injuries that were cosmetic only, that could be a funny feature. Like you have a broken leg, but you're basically like Gray Jennings from that famous Madden clip. You can see that being a fun feature, but as far as taking people out of the game at random, that would just be terrible. Now, Super Bowls as a voting option could be cool. Like they could have confetti and a podium where you hold up the trophy at the end of the game. That would be a nice feature. Now, leagues for noobs and pros, you pretty much just have to go out of your way to find them, but there are plenty of Discord leagues for different levels of players. Now, leagues aren't built into the game, but I don't think there's really a way to do it. You have to go out and find them for yourself. 11's here has a ton to suggest, so let's go over the new ones. He says, add bigger gloves, no V-shape, low socks, big shoulder pads. All right, that might be too much customization. Now, hear me out, hear me out. So let's break it down. So Ultimate Football has the most amount of customization. You can change your height, weight, everything, all this different drip, but at a certain point, it's just a little too much. It's not a little too much. Like it works well for ultimate football, but I'm saying in a football fusion sense, the point of the game is the simplicity. It's the uniformity of the players. So it's like, do we want bigger gloves, bigger shoulder pads? Like how much do we want to change? How different do we want each avatar to look? I don't think I want them to be that different. Like personally, maybe something a little like hand warmers or like a QB armband. I don't want the fusion avatars like going too crazy. Add offsides to a game. This is by far the worst suggestion. Do you know how many public warriors are going to run offsides? every single play you will not get a snap off if offsides is a feature in the game there will not be a single snap in a public server like for leagues people might be disciplined but what's the point we have the invisible wall we don't we don't need a rule in place for something that's fixed add stiff arm i mean we already have trucking and hit stick i feel like stiff arm what would that just be an extension of the truck I don't really know how it works specifically as a move, or I guess if you're in shift lock and someone's to your left or right, the stiff arm works in some way. I guess this could be okay, but I don't know if there's really a point to adding it to the game. Add back backspace. Well, I was thought in the game, if you're holding the ball, you can press backspace and it removes the ball from your inventory and gives you a 99 yard penalty. So if they actually remove that from the game, I think they should bring it back. But that was a pretty pro move. Like sometimes, oh man, the clock is about to hit zero. We don't have a choice. We gotta do what we gotta do. I think it's a funny feature. Add visor color. Yeah, so this would actually be sick if I could have 10 advisors of all the different colors extend kick meter to 66 yards i'm not against it but you would have to make the kicking meter be so much more challenging to kick from that distance like i don't know that this is actually good for the game but what i think will be good is icing the kicker because i think under two minutes if someone is about to attempt a field goal or an extra point if i call a timeout that should literally ice them so the kick meter it should be similar to madden like it fades out just like a little bit of a challenge that can make the ends of games a lot more interesting make the mercy 150 points so we can come back personally i would just abolish the mercy rule i think it's just terrible now maybe it increases play time like bro implemented it and he saw before my average play time is lower versus after it's higher but it's just annoying it ruins comebacks i mean a 49 point comeback versus public warriors with a decent team should be a cakewalk now at the very least put it up to a vote nothing is more annoying and mercy might be what 42 now so we're down 43 points we have a full team we're locked and loaded to come back on a stream and it's like ggs ggs like what the heck bro I pulled off a 100 plus point public comeback that would have been ruined by a mercy. Like, get it out of the game. And no replays unless if bans? Okay, I don't know what you mean by that, but as far as no replays, I think the public replays are fine. Maybe like a little vote skip button, but in VIPs, absolutely. I want an option to remove replays. It would make league games and video recording go by so much faster. Less pops in a game, absolutely. Like, pops are too high. Like, fumbles at 2%, they're tied to, I think, a 55% pop ratio, 45-55, something like that. And I've argued to XSTNS directly about this. Like, dude, make pops a separate voting. He's like, no, they're tied to fumbles. You vote on them, dude, dude, dude. So he just doesn't see it the way I see it. I just think it's bad for the game it should be separate extend global leaderboard to 150 no global has to be earned is global top 50 or top 100 now i actually don't even know but 150 bro there don't need to be no 150 globals 
I mean, where does it end, bro? Where does it end? How many more globals do we need? That is absurd. There needs to be some barrier to entry to becoming a global in Football Fusion. And their final point, FF2 kickoff update. I assume he's talking about the new NFL update where the players line up completely differently. The play is paused until some guy catches the ball. I think it could be cool if Fusion tries something like that out, but it's not completely necessary. Carlos says, make it have real team. And real teams used to be in the game, but the NFL copyright struck Fusion and the dude had to make an entirely new game. So it is not at all possible for real teams to be in the game. Curry says, as a player that's played for five years, the OG guys, we all know it, would be two things, make onside kicks whenever, and two, have fans. Onside kicks whenever will be terrible for the game, because I'm spamming them up and down the field. I do not care. If I have like a monster or two on my team, Versus Publix, it's going to be onside every time. Why wouldn't we onside? And having fans in the game, I don't know that fans can be implemented into the Fusion Stadium without making it laggy for people and looking ugly. Because part of Fusion is that clean aesthetic. A clean green field. It looks coherent with the stadium. It's just such a nice game. The blue sky is perfect. From a visual perspective, it is very clean. So if we add like a bunch of NPC fans to the stands, that can make the game look so ugly. Gabe replies and two-point conversions. Now, having played Ultimate Football where you can go for two every single time, it's just annoying to the game. It's just a play after the touchdown. I don't like it. I'm going for two every single time because mathematically speaking, I'm going to get it more than 50% of the time. And well, it's good for comebacks and maybe it's a little more gameplay. I just find it annoying. I like you score the touchdown. That's it. We kick like a little extra point and we move on. Mini Ren says a my career mode with other players and make yourself a FF2 legend. Now a career mode could be cool, but I really don't know how it's implemented. Like I've always imagined a Roblox game, which is a simulation of Madden where it's you and the computer where you're basically able to play a football game, but all the players around you are the CPU so you could genuinely level up your player and have a career with structured games. But as far as Publix, the gameplay is going to be so different every time with different people. I'm not really sure how a career works. Zaptastic says, I'm good QB and WR. Sir, sir, we are asking for updates to the game. I'm sure you're a great QB and receiver, but we are here for updates. Micah Plays has two new points, add different size servers, and remove illegal touch. I don't know that we really need different size servers. I think the 7v7 is perfect for a public gameplay, and if you want larger games like 8v8 or 9v9 for a league settings, you can already do that in a VIP if you slash a league it. Now here's another controversial take of mine. They should make illegal touch actually a better rule. If both of your feet aren't in bounds before you jump to catch the ball, it should low-key be illegal touching every single time. Because defense is hard enough in Football Fusion, if you can just out of bounds reel the ball it just extends the field for no reason so i do not care man increase illegal touch in football fusion nitin says i would add a challenge feature where if one team unanimously voted on it they can challenge the outcome of the play so if your toes are in slash out on some place it can be challenged and reversed so the correct outcome is called okay challenges would genuinely be terrible in football fusion because it is a simulated video game i know older maddens would have challenges but just what's the point you have the coding of the game, you understand perfectly like what happened and what did not. But I do agree with Nitin, there is a problem where you can have both feet in bounds and it won't call it a catch. Then you can have one foot in bounds sometimes and it will just give you the catch in bounds. So I think rather than adding challenges, they just need to make the coding better on what is and isn't a catch in football fusion. But it should 100% be up to the PC. Having it up to a challenge wouldn't make sense because you need an unbiased arbiter and who would that be? We're in a public server playing a 7v7, like who gets to decide what's a catch or not? Because one team's going to say it's a catch and the other team's going to say it's not, so it just would not work. The Payton Dog says, more importantly, changing the weird names like Denver Stallions to just Denver with a horse logo so it's like the NFL, but to work around for copyright. I think it's already a workaround enough for copyright. I don't know if you could do Denver with a horse logo. Like, would that be too similar? I'm not sure the exact rules, but I'm fine with the teams how they are. The Only Extreme says, too much of a list and I'm too lazy to type it. Well, thank you so much for your helpful suggestion. I mean, we're just trying to have an open dialogue and a discussion on how to update Football Fusion. You're just too lazy to help. Clash Ben says, is how to improve let juicy john make the updates no do not let me make the updates i can suggest the updates i can say how they should be but i have no clue how to code like i hear rumblings that x tenzin doesn't know how to code i know less than him i'd be terrible at updating the game absolutely not maybe add some of the defense stats from ultimate football and let teams go for onside kicks after halftime and let them go for two if they want so your first point of more defensive stats i think there should be less because the way they calculate stats isn't from a pro football focus perspective where they can watch every single play it's just hey are you near the football when it's in the air and you didn't catch it oh that's a drop what if you're running towards the ball and you can't actually get there in time and it is impossible for you to catch it so a lot of the defensive stats are a bit unfair and i just think it over complicates the game i think the stats when fusion first came out worked out fine now i don't want onside kicks after halftime but i think onside kicks anytime within the fourth quarter should be allowed i think that should be the metric but he lowered it to the last three minutes in the game which i think just isn't enough time for onsides now, as far as letting people go for two i think i'll just settle for what the game has quiz 900 says more realistic things 
things you can actually do in football, like laterals, CB, and WR stance, stuff like that. Well, we're already talking about how I don't want laterals. Now, as far as a CB and receiver stance, I don't see a point of that in the game. I like the simple R6 blocky walks. When you stance as a receiver or a DB, I've seen it in other games. It's like you have your stance before the play, and you just start walking and running like normal. It's just kind of annoying. Kind of extra thing. Like, ooh, it looks cool. I'm in a receiver stance, but I don't think it really does much for the game. So I would be against adding it. Have the ability to vote for kick returners as well as buff handoffs so you get more realistic football. I'd also like to be able to break tackles without a game pass just at random. Now, as much as I'd want to be voted kick returner, I think adding an extra voting element to the game is annoying. I remember in FBU back in the day, you'd have to vote for six different things. I think just having three votes is fine. Well, it is annoying when you have that terrible teammate who doesn't understand the game and returns it for like two yards and that's something tough you have to deal with but overall i like the random chance of kick returner now you said the buff handoffs i don't know how handoffs are really op like even if you have the trucking game pass once you get handed the ball everyone on the defense can see that you have the ball so it's pretty hard to get games with it now random broken tackles will maybe fun for the offense will be genuinely terrible for the defense and break football fusion under here suggests a lot but we'll read what is new he says a barrier for really deep safeties now i understand that prs are annoying but i don't think a barrier for safety makes any sense to the game it was a barrier just tied to the furthest receiver down the field so it just allows for burns at any points like how do you keep the safeties contained like can they not cover the end zone this just doesn't make sense more penalties to call well yeah i'd have to have specific instances of penalties but i think intentional grounding needs to be increased i've seen people run time and chuck the ball backwards into the stands and not get a grounding penalty i've also seen screen passes that hit a running back's foot get called for grounding so the rule makes no sense i'd say fix that rule now as far as other penalties i would need specific things suggested now smaller hitboxes that would be terrible i've seen games with small hitboxes i feel like ultimate football has a very small hitbox that is not good the fusion hitbox is clean it is perfect it should never be altered stiff arm and spin moves i don't necessarily want a spin move button like us I like the spin move button. It's pretty clean. It adds to the game. But in Fusion, it's manual jukes. I like that. It's just core gameplay. Who's better on the keyboard? Just keep it simplistic and keep it clean. Let one or two people O-line position. Now, you can already O-line whenever you want in the game. A locked-in position where someone has to do it would be terrible and nobody would actually want to be O-line. So I just think it would ruin the experience for the average public and there's not really a point to that. Now, the final point, ref mode. If they miss too much penalties or call too many bad penalties, they are thrown out. Ref mode will be absurd for publics. That would be completely absurd, man. Imagine you're playing the game and you're getting terrible calls from an iPad kid. Like, there's no shot, bro. There's no shot. I'm taking Football Fusion seriously if someone gets to become ref. Midstorm says, getting rid of it. Yes, let's just get rid of all of Football Fusion. That would be wonderful. Breadman, my longest member, says, more ways to play the game like laterals and ball being placed depending on where you're tackled. So kicking can be a challenge when you kick from the hash mark instead of always being in the middle of the... It would actually be interesting to the game. I'd like to see it tested out because right now there is that uniformity where you always spawn in the middle. But as far as league defenses that could help them out, like the field is shrunk to one half, you can get like different leverages going on. And that would also be cool for kicks because then it will make longer kicks a little challenging. You got to be a little to the right, a little to the left. I know Dan says, add the music system back. I agree because my football fusion rap was apparently blasted in every single public server. Y'all had born the ball on repeat. This isn't a fusion thing. This is a Roblox thing. Like they got rid of that whole audio library because there is so much copyright. I assume they have problems with record labels who they want to be friends with. They want concerts from famous artists. Decade Ray Raiden says, remove the teleport one JPing to a specific height. I tend to agree, so for those of you who don't know, if you get boosted like a little too high in Fusion, it just teleports you back down instantly, which I think if you got boosted or you've jumped high, but it's like just a natural mechanic to jumping in the game, you pretty much should not be teleported down. Richard Clark says, put you in the game. I'm already in the game. I can't play the game. My avatar is in the game. I don't really know how we're adding Juicy John to football Fusion. Something or another says, a replay that isn't just complete stop motion. I completely agree, because football Fusion has a replay system from what 2017 2018 when legendary football first had it like when you see games like ultimate football where you get a 360 replay it's like 4k 60 fps different angles and we're dealing with this prehistoric replay well, the difference is insane man absolutely we need higher quality replays dj clee brown fan he recommends a lot that we've gone over but his final point is interesting add custom teams in private servers and when older maddens you can make a custom football team so you could color different parts of the uniform you could pick and somewhat build a stadium 
upload a custom logo so if that's at all possible and you could have your own teams in vip that would be sick now i don't know that this will ever be added to fusion because it's like how many people would use it versus the effort it would take to do but that would be a sick addition to the game and super fun for leagues ryomo says i wouldn't i guess you can just like football fusion how it is but the game needs some updates man that uni designer says add more uni options now uni has actually made the uniforms for the game i think most if not all of them but it'll be cool to have options like madden like you got your color rush you got your retro uniform different home and away combinations so football fusion could allow captains to pick from one of five uniforms that'll be sick the Robloxian warrior says add region selection so i won't have to deal with pink that's another problem with football fusion it's very much like legendary football updated so there's no list of servers and pings if i play ultimate football i get a list of every single server and where is it located in basketball legends i get a list of every server and where it's located in football fusion i just hit the random server button and keep joining servers until i get one with good ping so i think a list of servers and the pings would add to the game and keep people playing longer lego gun underscore frank says add a center now i don't know if you're talking about a person as a center or an ai center for a person center it should be up to the person to play center but if some public warrior is locked in the center and they just have to block all game they're probably just going to leave if it's an ai center i don't think there's really a point to that that gives a little bit of an advantage to the offense or even if it's just a center that's there it snaps the ball and it disappears that would be like arena football four i think it's just pointless it just looks awkward to have a center out there he doesn't even snap the ball and he just magically disappears i just feel like that would be weird i think football fusion without a center is fine how it is anthony says the gui and the hitbox i've already told you i think the hitbox is fine but as far as the gui there should be a button that hides all the menus except the scoreboard atlanta nighthawk says catch kicks that are doinked slash short if a field goal hits the crossbar it should be the nfl rule that the play is dead but you actually gave me an idea so i think if field goals are 50 plus yards you should have a returner back there like devin hester and if the kick lands short of the field goal point you should be able to pick it up and try and return it that could be a fun feature to the game route djk makes one new point that he wants the old pat meter back well i like the old field goal meter it was just way too easy to make every single kick i think the new meter has a little bit of a challenge it makes you hold your breath when you're kicking a longer field goal so i do like it more marlin says better diving now i think the football fusion diving is perfect like i said i think the mechanics are clean well the only mechanic i do disagree with is the blocking if a center blocks a defensive lineman they inherently lose speed instead of just getting pushed back i don't really like that so yeah i think blocking is a little bit op and should be nerfed a bit in fusion but other than that i think the whole game and the mechanics are very clean football head says something i would like is a walkout whenever that game starts if they add this it will feel more pro well this could be cool a few times i don't know how necessary it is like ultimate football has the most amazing presentation in roblox but for the most part people are just going to vote skip it because it gets old fast so it's like when you buy a new madden game your first game you watch all the presentation but once you get into the game all you really care about is the gameplay well so this could be nice at a certain point you would just get bored of it and it would just be annoying and get in the way of you actually playing the game mission says less blocky and more ability to move your character and absolutely not the r6 blockiness is what makes fusion clean is what makes it perfect it's why the game has had so much longevity that should never be removed jason says in basketball legends they have different balls so open crates to get balls ability when you kick and stuff like ultimate football then done okay i think what he means is different football skins I don't know if that's good for fusion. I like different trails, but I like that you just have the same football. Like, would that necessarily be good? Like, people are out there with, like, pink and purple footballs in fusion. Like, I know UF has that, but that's the game of customization. I think fusion is more the game of simplicity. So, I don't know if different color footballs would be good for the game. But that is the end. So, comment down below your thoughts on my opinions and what else should be updated in fusion. Like and sub and lace up.